It's been estimated eight out of 10 dog owners let their pet lick them, and six in 10 let them lick their faces. Well, they may want to rethink that after this next story. This man has lost all of his appendages after contracting an infection, and it's believed the infection can be traced to the lick of a dog. We should warn you, some of the images in this report may be disturbing for some viewers. A shocking turn of events for a 48-year-old dad who has lost his hands and legs after doing something so many of us do every day. I got licked by a dog. That's right. All this from being licked by a dog. Greg Manifel is also braced for more. He's about Basically to lose his nose. And they told me my nose is mummified too, and it's almost like a frostbite. <laughs> Greg's life changed forever when he went to a neighborhood party at a park near his home in Wisconsin. There was like five dogs at the party. They were all swimming in the pond, and I was touching all of them because I love dogs. Greg's doctors believe he contracted a bacteria from one of the dogs that licked him. I ended up not washing my hands and rubbing my eye or my face, my mouth somehow. His own pit bull, Ellie, has been ruled out as the source of the infection because she wasn't at the party, and according to Greg's family, she doesn't lick. Beverly Hills veterinarian Jeffrey Werber says the bacteria that infected Greg is called Capnocytophica canamorsis. It's found in 75% of dogs, but it's extremely rare for it to infect a human. This happened to have been a case of a very unusual outcome, very rare. Um, I think that the CDC reported something like 12 cases last year. One day after the party, Greg started exhibiting signs of sepsis. He would speak sentences and then it would turn into like gibberish almost. <laughs> like he didn't make sense, like he was delirious. Greg is remarkably upbeat. I'm just happy to be alive. They did what they did, saved my life. His grieving wife and son say he's actually helping them through the ordeal. There's no time for us to feel sorry. I mean, we just got to use what we have to help him. He didn't survive to lay in bed and cry about it. So is it okay to have your dog lick you? Dr. Werber says he's licked dozens of times a day. In my opinion, you can still have your dog lick you, and yes, you will be fine. The doctor who's treating Greg says 99% of dog owners will never have to deal with this problem, but he says there is a chance of infection from dog saliva.